Hey guys, welcome to this week's Tip Tuesday. I am still here on Maui, obviously. We hear birds chirping, but no uh, obnoxious weed whacker today. Thank you, God. So I am here to talk about good hair days because we all want them seven days a week, right? Um, but sometimes you have to do things in life like work out, which can make your hair a disaster if you don't do the prep work first. So what I like to do before a good workout where I know I'm gonna be getting a little sweaty, if I don't have time to wash my hair after the gym, or if I just don't wanna wash my hair because I like to go two, three days in between washes so that I don't damage my hair. It's one of my big secrets. Um, I like to prep my hair with a little dry shampoo. Now you don't need to put it everywhere. You use this pretty much the same way you would use a dry shampoo on second day hair. You wanna section off pieces of your hair, spray it at the root, Keep going section by section all the way around your hair. Focus on the back of the neck and the top part of your head. That's where I feel like I get my sweatiest when I work out, which I don't know, I think that's probably most people. So, you know, section off, spray around the head and don't wiggle it through too much. Usually you want to let a dry shampoo set and then you brush it through. The trick to this is to let it sit in your hair during your workout. So you're not gonna keep your hair down. You're gonna throw it in a ponytail or a braid Throw on a headband, which also helps. A sweatband really, I mean, you might look like you're bringing back the 80s, but it really can help your hair day if you're going straight from the gym to work and you know you don't wanna mess with the hair. So do your workout and then afterwards, you're just gonna brush everything through. I like to shoot a little air from a hair dryer on the roots of my hair upside down. It really helps to shake everything out and give you a ton of volume. Then you can go to styling, put it in a braid, whatever, and you won't be a greasy, gross mess. So I hope this tip is useful to those of you that want to extend the life of your hairdo. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.